Okay, Mike here. Sky include keeping you included in the sky. <laughs> and the another tools, another software has another tools, and they're doing amazing things. You might have seen a video I uh, did earlier about a SVT, another software validator token. Um, they're a validator on SIFTChain and hopefully others soon. But they also are building, you know, they're, they're handshake people. So I, obviously I support, um, as you know, this channel is a lot about handshake. So today we're talking about CHNS or Cosmos HNS. It's, I notice I don't show my full screen now. I'm on a test server, test URL. So I can't show you the URL when I'm making this video, but I want to have this ready when they're ready to go public. Um, you know, one issue a lot of us know in Handshake is liquidity and something commonly talked about in the discords and various channels. So, you know, they're Handshake fans, so they made CHNS, Cosmos HNS. Just so you know, it's custodian held, so it's in a wallet that, uh, that's held by these validators, so you have to keep that in mind. I have some right here already. I've done this already. I'll show you my Kepler wallet, which is the wallet most common wallet for the cosmos ecosystem which is atom and uh, more and more is coming on on here sorry my computer is super slow right now processing a lot of videos so you can see here i have if it would load i have 399 hns in my kepler wallet or in juno right so just so you know you need to add this contract address to your um, Juno wallet, which you would do by going into your add token and then adding the contract address. I will put it into the show notes for the CHNS token, but that's how you would be able to see it in your wallet, right? So let's go through a demo. I have 399. So I did a test. I sent in 500 unwrapped HNS or just normal HNS to this and then I withdrew uh, 101 back so or maybe I'm bad with my math but basically I sent some back to it and uh, I guess yeah I guess 101 and uh, and did that test you can also read the how it works and the white paper and you need to connect your Kepler wallet which I just showed you it's cut off because I can't show the URL in this video but you'll, you'll, you know, Chrome extension is a common one. So I click connect and then it will prompt me to set it up. All right, so it's connected now and you can see it shows I have 399 HNS. If you click into your Kepler and Juno wallet, you'll see that as well. So long as you've added the contract address and you can see it's loading. My computer is overheating, but you can see three, three ninety nine, three ninety nine, right? This is in my Juno wallet. All right. So you have two things you can do. You can get address here. Enter Juno address to receive your HNS. So you would then go into your Kepler wallet or any wallet that you want to send. You have to have a Juno address, right? So you, again, this is all doing the Juno um, chain within Cosmos on Kepler or whichever wallet I guess you feel comfortable with. Hopefully there's more choices. So I copy my Juno address, paste here. Hit get address. And now notice this is an HNS address. You could copy it. I've copied it a whole bunch of times. And then what I can do is send. That's what I've done already. I sent it in. And then uh, it's pretty fast. But you can send it, of course, from Namebase if you're able to. Maybe maybe many of you are not. You can send it from Bob Wallet. You can send it from an exchange, exchange right, if you try to get out of an exchange. And it will then be deposited into your address here. And then let's talk about the other side. If you have an HNS address, 
address you want to uh, withdraw to. So go to your Bob wallet or go to your, uh, you know, your name base wallet, paste your address here. And then the amount you want to take out, of course, you have to have something in. So I, I could, of course, take out the full amount. 399. I would just put my address. And then you click transfer. It's going to prompt your Kepler wallet. Notice I have a little bit of Juno in here. I, I have a half a Juno. So you will have to have Juno token, which is a Cosmos token to use for small amount of gas. And I believe there might be some small commission as well um, from the other tools software. But I'm just giving you a tutorial. Maybe I'll make more in the future. Really excited for this because, of course, we need more liquidity. But notice I have about a half a Juno. So I started with 0.5. So I did a couple of transactions, and it's obviously less than 0 0.000, you know, 3 or something like that um, to do that. So very, very low cost. So thank you. Another software another dot software ASVT token and uh, you can of course read a white paper and others the URL will be published once it's ready I'm just making this little this is how you would be able to send in HNS and this is how you'll be able to withdraw HNS so the idea is you could buy it on a DEX like Osmosis or Sift Chain or others you know swap it with Atom or other other any kind of uh, token that's in those decentralized exchanges and then you could unwrap it by sending it to your native HNS wallet, which could be Bob Wallet, Namebase, etc. And then buy your HNS TLD or, or you know, whatever you'd like to do with your HNS. So I hope this makes sense. I'm really excited about this. Thank you so much, Angry Mouse, Thomas, the ASVT, or another software team and validators for building and creating and supporting. Because I we all know liquidity is an issue, and I know they have a lot of more plans for this. I think there's a lot more. So this is a very early stage video. And uh, but I love the mouse, angry mouse. <laughs> Don't shoot me here. <laughs> but uh, keep it up. I'm a little bit sick too. It's been an intense week, but I just want to get this video out as soon as I could. So I'm really appreciative for everybody there. Mike here at Sky Include. C H N S, Cosmos H N S handshake. Thank you. Peace.